You can't go back in time, but you can certainly buy history. Daryl Johnson from Glendale basically inherited a passion for antiques. My mom worked with archaeologists. I was on archaeological digs since I was actually in diapers. Since then, he's focused on picking up Spanish colonial pieces like this sword. And another specialty is Viking era artifacts like this other sword. Johnson says he bought this Viking sword about two years ago. This is the authentication letter from the seller, and these are x-rays giving us a deeper look. When you acquire a piece like that, that rarity, it's sort of the cherry on top. Last month, he decided to ship the sword to an art gallery in Colorado, which valued it at up to $24,000 and wanted to put it up for auction for him. The gallery sent a shipping label, so Johnson says he dropped off the sword at this UPS store on Dysert Road, where the package was scanned by employees. One was really excited about it and was asking to take pictures and asking me about what those things are, you know, valued at. He was told it would be delivered in two to three days. Five days later, nothing. Six days later, nothing. That was either the sixth or seventh day. We, we got the tracking number, started looking at it, and said it didn't leave Arizona. These UPS screenshots showing an investigation was opened for the lost package. But Johnson doesn't believe his sword is lost, but stolen. We reached out to the UPS store. Incorporated, a spokesperson says they will try to find a resolution with Johnson and asked us for his contact information. Maricopa County Sheriff's Office is also looking into this case. And meanwhile, Johnson is offering a $1,000 reward for any information that can help him get his sword back. Reporting in the newsroom, Casey Torres, Arizona's family. I hope they find it, Casey. Thank you. A new addition.